Shall we begin? Let's begin now. Aloha, Cancer. This is Stephanie with Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with your spirit messages for November 2021. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Please do like, share, subscribe, hit the bell button. All of those things help my channel to grow and expand. Um, also, leave a comment. I love engaging with you. It's another way that you can help support the channel so that I can continue to offer um, free videos for you. Um, before we get started, I wanted to let you know that I have opened a one-to-one -one mentorship with me. These are six-month to a year-long mentorships depending on uh, what you're working on and what you'd like to achieve. Many of my clients are um, achieving wealth, bringing in babies, bringing in businesses, bringing in their you know favorite house, cars, etc. And so how we do this is I work with you to neutralize limiting beliefs and emotions um, and um, giving you the the paradise program essentially i've learned how to create paradise for myself both inside and out and so uh, now i am sharing that light with you so if you would like to work with me you we can do a free consultation together um, just email me at the whispering dragonfly at gmail.com okay let's get started with your reading we'll take some hawaiian salt just a pinch mm -mm -mm. gives you your minerals and clears the energy the red Hawaiian sea salt. It's pretty amazing. All right. For Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Rising, we have a Keepers of the Light card here. For Cancer. Oh, this guy wants to come out. Perfect. We have Kali Ma, Facing Fear. All right. Major spiritual changes are unfolding. This is your chance to fly. All right, beautiful. I love the red hibiscus that Kalima has on as well. I love this goddess. Um, you know, she's fierce and warrior-like, and she can remove obstacles, but she also is the divine feminine. Uh, whether you're male or female, we all have our divine feminine parts, but this is the divine feminine in her sacred power. Um, even sacred rage at times. Like, there's nothing to fear when uh, Kalima is present. Um, so this is beautiful, Cancer. I feel like you're moving into new realms, especially in your spirit, as this is saying. So there's nothing to fear. You'll, you know, face it as it comes. Um, and I feel like it's going to be just a very beautiful unfolding for you. Uh, we're going to get an archetype card as well for Cancer here. All right. This one, oh, I guess you're getting two. Okay. We have the vow and we have the crone. Okay. So the crone is the, um, the female, the witch in her third, her, her third stage of being. Okay. Um, and this is essentially the crone is the elder witch woman divine feminine in her absolute power this is the all-seeing one the hag sometimes that people you know can look on the crone as if it's like ugly or or something of that sort but actually the crone has been afforded the time to grow and the time to become um wise and so uh, the major magic comes from this crone stage. So I feel like you're moving into a time and you're going to be working with this archetype. So this may be an actual ancestor that's helping you who is elder that is passed on, or this could be the part of you, uh, your future self, your elder self that already knows the answer. So you're going to be moving through some major spiritual and life changes. We have the vow here. Um, this is multifold for me. Some of you may be taking vows, as in getting married, moving to a new level of relationships. Um, they're also showing me some of you taking vows, like uh, for work. So um, this could be as like 
they're showing me law and medicine so if you're in either of those careers and are moving into like graduating and taking your oaths those are vows um, this is also letting me know that you're going to be looking at what vows you have made in this lifetime and others and renegotiating your contracts in the month of November uh, cancer this is beautiful like you're you're going to be taking more seriously the words that you speak the promises that you make to others and to yourself um, releasing any vows that would keep you stuck um, anything that you're afraid to leave uh, for some of you you may actually be leaving a relationship because we have facing fear here so some of you may be married and intending to be divorced that's going to be for a small percentage of you um, but spirit showing me that at this time like it's going to take some wisdom and facing your fears to release that vow but you can do it if that is your intention um, but that's not going to be for everyone that's a small percentage of those listening all right, let's go to career. Let's look at career for cancer month of November. Career for cancer, please. All right. Okay, there we go. Okay beautiful i feel like you've been in a stage where you haven't felt like there's been much movement in your career um i feel like you haven't felt um on top of your game queen of coins reversed is the queen of pentacles um upright it's pre-empress energy meaning that you know uh, it's the philanthropist the money is taken care of but reversed it's almost like you've given away your power six of swords typically says that uh, spirit is taking you out of choppy waters i feel like in many ways it's like what spirit's saying is some of you have stayed too long in a job or occupation um some of you have you know not known when to let go of the situation there's things that you want to create but you haven't acted on it yet because of the fears um cancer i know you guys are very um home-bodied individuals in a lot of ways and so it's like um those kind of changes are not as natural for you you can do it but it's like you know you kind of go into your crabby shell and so this is showing that you actually do have the power to make the moves that you want to make so you'll be facing your fears in regards to career some of you may want to do a completely different career um, but what it's showing the outcome here is um, the six of wands so you are going to get recognition um, you're going to get recognition for work well done so some of you may be getting a promotion after a really long time of feeling like it's stagnant some of you may be um, giving yourself recognition and saying I want better than this and move to a different um, type of workplace or open that business that you've been wanting to open but any way it goes you're going to get recognition they're also showing me some of you either doing like a YouTube or a TikTok or something of the sort where um, you go viral right so you're gonna get recognized for something that's like fun but also brings you money um, after a time of seemingly like um, stagnant energy and so this is really good news um, they want me to sh continue to show you this because I feel like you need a boost right now in your confidence um, cancer it's like you will be recognized okay and so they want you to recognize the light within yourself okay this guy's holding this torch here and they're wanting you to recognize your own light and the light that you bring to others and so your ideas do matter if you have something that's fun funny you know creative a project that you've been wanting to do you know do it you know use your magic i feel like I feel like you've been a little bit scared to to move forward but um this month kalima is going to help you to move through those fears okay in love relationships all right so in love relationships we have knight of coins reversed we have two of coins reversed and we have the three of wands so actually so we have someone, um, those of you that are single, I feel like you may be in no communication. Um, we have this Knight of Coins. 
that's always a slow moving energy but reversed it's almost like at a standstill um, so this is someone that you got out of balance with or out of rapport with this is someone that you thought that you could have a forever love with um, the the pentacle suit or the coin suit gives offers that last the long term and something got out of balance there for those of you that are in relationship I feel like the communication has gotten a little bit out of balance like we were talking about earlier with the vowels and facing the fears um, but this indicates that there's a major need for balance like you've gotten way out of balance in communication um, or lack thereof but what we're seeing here is three of wands is the outcome so for those of you that are in no communication you do have communication coming in for those of you that are wanting to repair your relationship that you're already in your ships are coming in so this is saying there's still um, some time to be patient so there's still some things that are moving around in the ethers there's still some things that are um, harmonizing at this time um, but you guys will harmonize okay and so I feel like um, again this is getting back into your power facing your fear some of you what they're saying is like facing the fear to be vulnerable I feel like for many of you you have something to say to the other person there's a wisdom or my hair's doing some kind of crazy um, there's a wisdom there's a confession there's a something that you want to tell the other person um, some of you it might be closure some of you it might be that you want to open something with a certain person but haven't felt like you've been waiting for them to come to you and it feels like actually that you have something to face your fear to be vulnerable to actually tell the other um, and I feel like that's going to be really important um, to let go of your fear and communicate because it'll open new doors um, I'm just gonna be nosy a little bit and check like what that does okay yeah they're saying that you haven't been really using your intuition very well upright it's the um, high priestess knows all she's mute she um, she is aware of everything that's going on and trust her intuition but reverse it's like you haven't been trusting your intuition there's been something that you've been wanting to say for a long time and your intuition and your gut has been telling you to do it but you haven't because of fear and so uh they're saying get to it yeah, we have ace of wands so the outcome is if you do for those of you that uh, have something to say or a confession to a lover or someone it feels like someone from the past that you really thought that you could have a long-term relationship with and it just got out of balance somehow cancer and so it's like what they're saying is go for it okay um, the result is ace of wands a passionate new beginning so I feel like the person on the other side of this has also been waiting for you to be vulnerable and at, and make the action I feel like they were the action oriented of the two and that's what got out of balance um, but notice this volcano erupting there is passion there for sure um, a lot of love there and um, it's fiery and it's hot and it's beautiful and so I feel like take the chance that's not going to be for everybody but for those of you who felt like you wanted to reach out to someone that you love that it just didn't work the way that it needed to regardless of the outcome it's going to help you feel passionate and confident in yourself again but I feel like the person on the other end of that um, is wanting to hear from you okay and let's go to spiritual okay got it all right so spiritual we have the magician we have page of coins and we have ace of cups this is really beautiful in your spiritual scape cancer because you are coming back into the magic of who you are through working with Kali Ma this month you're going to be um, feeling into your power and the fact that you are the creator of your own life and universe now you are going to have communication from spirit here uh, this communication may be from loved ones that have passed on or other ancestors but you're definitely going to be communicating with those that you love uh, this could be in dream time you may um, smell smells that smell like them or feel like you hear their laughter or um, 
what have you like some energy just showed up that was kind of a younger um, girl uh, she was kind of dressed in uh, white she was probably like I would say 8 to 10 years old um, and so if that's your loved one then wonderful <laughs> um, they are present but uh, essentially um, spirits gonna be talking with you um, and opening up those channels of communication for you uh, you will be talking with your ancestors this may be the crone um, archetype that's coming through they're going to teach you to use your inherent intuitive wisdom um, cancer you guys are very intuitive you are ruled by the moon so the most emotional most intuitive of the deck and it's um, actually going to be focused on your heart's desires with that ace of cup and so I feel like you do have the magic this month to create the world that you want to live in um, cancer this is really beautiful but it does require you to face your fears and to um, you know make adjustments to the vows that you make to self and others and then we got as a closer here we have in the hand this is beautiful the universe is your partner look at that everything you want is in your hand the universe is working for you cancer not against you this is uh, the card 31 reduces down to a four if that means something to you four is the number of foundation um, so essentially the universe is absolutely your partner cancer you are moving into a time of great magic so allow yourself to face that fear okay because the universe is on your side the answer is always yes, and Kalima is going to help you. So anything that comes up where you feel fearful about it, allow her energy to take over and remove the obstacles because you absolutely are moving into a very blessed time in your life, and um, month of November looks gorgeous for you guys. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Speak up where you need to. Face your fears. I'm loving you from here. Much aloha, and until next time, aloha.